Hey guys and welcome to Orders of Scale. So the last two videos about perplexity did pretty well, but the number one question that I'm still getting is about the length of the outputs. So you guys, at least some of you, are unable to generate anything beyond six or 700 words. So in this video I'll be showing you four separate ways of creating outputs and we'll note down the word count in each of the cases. Not only that, but we will do that for each of the inbuilt models. We'll do that for GPT-4, for Claude and for Gemini. Before we do my main resource is vastuniverse.com where you can get exclusive discounts you can have a one-on-one -on -one with me or enjoy some of my free newsletters or paid commercial courses so check it out so now there are four ways of generating your outputs with perplexity and this is valid for any of the llms so you can generate uh, your article in one click you can do parts you can do it section by section or you can use my ninja method which still works to this day even though this prompt is like eight month old so let's start with GPT and with a very easy prompt let's make sure we have GPT-4 I'll be using the focus mode because this is one of the more universal modes here so the prompt is use markdown formatting bolded words list and tables to write a 2000 word essay about reimagining history alternative outcomes of major events and we'll be using the same prompt and the same topic for each of the generations okay so let's use our markdown formatting let's make sure we don't copy any of the artifacts Okay, this is the raw output. Let's copy it here. And this is 582 words. And this is probably what you are getting, guys, most of the time. So 582. Now let's use the same prompt, but we'll use Claude instead. So next up is Claude. And Claude is often capricious. So might say, I am not capable of writing a 2000 word essay, or I'm not comfortable with writing on this topic. And actually in my Detection Ninja course, I have a Claude jailbreak section. So there I'm presenting a couple of ways you can go around this capricious behavior of Claude, but we are in luck since Claude is doing what it does best, writing. Okay, by the looks of it, I think this is around seven to eight hundred words. Let's see if I'm mistaken. Okay, once again, let's get rid of the artifacts, which are often present, fortunately. So the previous best was 582, and this is, yeah, this is between 700 and 800 words. So 790 words, 790. Okay, now let's copy this once again and just clear this up. Go back to perplexity and now we're choosing Gemini Pro. Mm. And Gemini Pro is extremely fast, but the output is not very long. And Gemini Pro even managed to create a reference, which is always nice. 666 words. Hopefully you're not superstitious, I'm not. So this doesn't bother me. 666. Okay, now for the second prompt, we need to modify it slightly. But before we do, let's switch back to GPT-4. And you can do the same within a single thread. So you can uh, just go back to the old thread with the new model and keep writing using the new model. That was one of the questions as well. So the prompt is the same, use markdown formatting, both of words, lists and tables to write, and this is where it changes, to write part one of three of a 2000 word essay. And GPT-4 especially works very well with this prompt, part two. And this is one of the easiest ways besides the one click generation to create longer outputs. And again, this works best with GPT-4, but once we do everything, we'll just see for ourselves, we'll look at the data and we'll see which LLM is best at what, at which method. Okay, and part three. And I'm actually thinking about creating an AI writing course. So if you want to see that, let me know. Uh, right now I'm torn between uh, creating an autoblogging kind of uh, bulk generation focus for this course or a complete opposite, creating helpful content, often manually or semi-manually. So I want you to do two things. First, let me know if you want this course. And second, which of the two focuses it should have, autoblogging or manual slash helpful content. Okay, and part three. Once again, uh, let me get rid of the citations because they will count towards the word counts. We have a lot of them. It's not an accurate representation of the actual word counts. Looks about right. And once again, a word counter. And this is uh, or almost 1400 words, 1363. 
So a vast improvement over the previous output, which was only 582 words. Let's use the same prompt, but now with Claude. And with Claude, sometimes it just writes the whole thing in part one or in part two. It just finishes off the article. Uh, looks like it wants to keep going. So let's just go part two. Mm -hmm. While it's doing its thing, let me just copy this over to Markdown formatting. So we save some time on editing. Okay, part two is done. Let's go for part three and the final part. And again, I'm getting rid of these artifacts here, like here's part two. We don't need that. It shouldn't count towards the overall word count. Okay, this is part three about Gorbachev of all the people. Nice. Mm -hmm. Citations. Again, getting rid of these artifacts here. Uh huh. So this is 992 words. And this is what I'm saying. Claude generally gives longer outputs but it doesn't follow the prompts quite as well as GPT-4, but still an improvement over 790 words, which was the last effort. Now let's go to Gemini Pro. Gemini Pro is funny in that uh, it kind of, once you launch it, you get a micro pause and then it finishes off the whole thing very quickly. So let's see how it does here. Yeah, as I said, boom, part one is ready. Let's go for part two. Part two is ready as well and part three. So let me start copying this. And Gemini Pro doesn't have any artifacts like GPT-4 and Claude, which is nice. It doesn't go like this is your 2000 word article or whatever. So you don't have to clean it quite as much. Uh, I'm noticing that it gives me a conclusion for each of the parts, which wasn't present when it was done by GPT-4 or Claude, but oh well. So this is the article. Doesn't look very long, to be quite honest, but I think it's still an improvement over the previous effort. Oh no, 1058 words. So it hmm, actually managed to beat Claude. And we almost doubled the word count. Nice. So the next one is section by section. And for this to happen, we need uh, first to create an outline. And I have my outline genius, uh, GBD, which I'm selling here, but we won't be using it for the uh, sake of time. So let me first go back to GPT-4 and go write me an article outline about using Roman letters 1 to 10. The reason I'm using Roman letters is just easier for the uh, prompting that will follow. And the general rule here is the longer the outline, the longer the article. So the article consisting of four headings will be generally shorter than that consisting of 10. So let's just copy the this outline here so we can use it in our next generations. So now that we have an outline, the prompt is going to be very simple once again. I like using simple prompts. Use markdown formatting bolded words, lists and tables to write a detailed paragraph about section one of the above outline. And then we don't need the article topic, I don't think. So use markdown formatting, bolded words, lists and tables to write a detailed paragraph about section one of the above outline. And this method here will generally give you the longest outline. So we just go the same, but for section two and so on and so forth. So just pause the video and unpause it once I'm done with all the 10 sections. So we are done with GPT-4. As you can see, uh, we have written every section. Uh, the only thing that I would change is that now every section has the same kind of structure, a table and a list bolded words. So it probably creates two or three variations of the prompts, but uh, that was not our intention. Let's see the overall word, word count. I have no idea. And this is two, wow, oh, 2600 words, 2608, 2608. Oh, eight. Oh my God. And since this video is uh, getting very long to make, I'll just pause once again. I'll do the same with Claude and Gemini Pro and I will report back to you. So, okay, this is the output I got back from Claude. And what I did, I just pasted in the initial outline and then used the same prompt as before. So let's see. I thought it would be longer. Let's see what happens. So this is 1700 words, uh, 1781, which is a good effort, I think. 1781, again, almost a 2x improvement over the previous iteration. And I will post this once again and use Gemini.
So I'm not really sure what happened here, but this didn't work at all with Gemini. I would get very short, extremely short outputs. So I still stand with what I say. Use Gemini Pro for outlines, for LSI keywords, but for copywriting, GPT-4 and Cloud is much better. So I don't even know how many words this is. Uh, this is going to be embarrassing. This is 775 words, 775. So not even uh, an improvement over the last effort and barely better than the one click. It's now time to review my ninja hack uh, which is a prompt that have existed for a while and I am the inventor of this prompt. Uh, before I do once again uh, vast universe, uh, community discounts, one-on-one -on -one calls, prompts, commercial courses, free resources, check it out. Let's open a new thread and I have some explaining to do. The genius reason why this prompt works is that I'm creating a kind of an outline, but not an outline. I convert outline to popular questions and then I ask the LLM to write a separate article for each and every of the questions. When combined, it actually looks like a whole article. So just imagine you're taking each of the heading out of your article separately and writing an article on it and then combine it all together then it becomes this giant article it works better with OpenAI playground and even ChatGPT. i haven't tested it within perplexity yet so it goes i want you to execute the following step step one generate 10 popular questions about the topic step two take the first question from the list from step one and write a 500 word article and then you're just doing the same for the nine remaining questions and you can make it uh, more robust. I think Hamish from Income Stream Surfers has a video where he takes this prompt and makes it better. So go check it out. So the first step was once again generating the 10 popular questions. Since our topic is reimagining history, alternative outcomes, the 10 popular questions are, are what if the library of Alexandria had never been destroyed? How would the world be different if the Roman Empire had never fallen? What if the Black Death had been avoided in Europe? And now it's just starting to write a separate article, a 500 long article for each of these steps which is basically uh, a part of the outline and sometimes it does several in one go like here for example and sometimes it stops after each step so let's see how many it does in one go here it usually breaks it up and you just go go next or go on or whatever no it actually wrote everything in one go amazing so it's like a one-click solution mm -hmm. and the 11th step is the 10th question because the first step was the generation of the 10 questions so let's just go to the free markdown we'll get rid of the questions themselves and i won't be formatting this obviously you want to get rid of step two two three four and, and so on well, let's go and this is whoa, this is 2000 words guys in one go 2046 words me likey so it took us like uh, a minute and we almost matched the section by section approach nice well, let me copy this prompt once again let me change um, the model to clot and clot is actually very likely to break it up in different sections let's see okay 10 popular questions what if the axis powers had won world war ii how would history be different if the soviet union had never collapsed what if the American Revolution had failed? Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to write about the first question. And yeah, this is the second question. I'm just curious how many words this is. So this is uh, 200 words, 200 words times 10. So we are looking at a 2000 word output the way it's going. So this is already question number three about the American Revolution. The halfway mark is the indigenous people. And again, I'm surprised that Perplexity and the LLM have decided to write everything in one go. That does doesn't happen every day and we are at question four i think so this is getting really long guys and again this is a one click solution uh now i'm thinking that gemini pro is going to butcher this but let's see what happens okay this is question number five what could the modern world look like if the indigenous people of north and south america had repelled european colonizers september 11th so that was question number seven. So we have three more to go. What if the internet was never invented? Well, there would have been no words at scale, guys. Imagine the world without words at scale. And once again, if you want me to start creating this AI writing course, just let me know. I won't be doing that if uh, nobody is interested, obviously, because I don't have a lot of time. I have very little time. What could race relations in the US look like today if the civil rights movement of the 1950s, 1950s had failed? Okay, was it the last one? 
Yeah, so, wow. It looks like it wanted to keep going, but uh, I think this is enough. 2,000, uh, 2,100 words. 2, 1, 5, 3. Okay, so it beats GPT-4. Finally, finally, since this is getting ridiculously long, at least on my part, Gemini Pro, new threat, same prompt. I am unable to complete the task. I don't have the capacity to generate questions or write articles. <laughs> I'll give it another try and we'll call it a day, I guess. Come on, Gemini Pro. You're a Google for God's sake. Oh yeah. So no. No a no go from Gemini Pro. So we'll just say an A. Now let's uh, summarize. So the one click solution returns the lowest output, which ranges from high 500s to high 700s. So I would say between 500 and 800. And here Claude is uh, the winner. For the parts, uh, GPT-4 is the best since it follows the commands the best. And this dub almost doubled the input with GPT-4 and with Gemini Pro. A little bit more with Claude. Section by section is by far the best way for giving you the longest output, but this works again with GPT-4 and Claude, but that didn't work at all with Gemini. And the ninja method, which is the 10 questions, so Claude was a clear winner. And I would say GPT-4 as well, but we got a fail from Gemini Pro. And to sum up, GPT-4 is the most consistent out of all, it seems. Still, Claude gave us, uh, formally at least uh, on paper, the longest output. And now you know four writing approaches to creating longer article copies. Hope this video was helpful. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time.